Welcome to this video tutorial about analyzing parallel execution SKU. Since this tutorial covers a lot of information, it will be actually split into four parts. The initial part that you're just watching will be a brief introduction into the topic. The second part will cover data flow operations, which are important to understand for analyzing parallel execution plans and are specific to parallel execution plans. The third part will cover the analysis if you do not happen to have a diagnostic or tuning pack license and the limitations of this approach. The fourth part will then actually cover what you can do if you happen to have a diagnostic or optionally a tuning pack license which allows a much more sophisticated analysis than without. I've already talked about parallel execution in the past and published information about it. If you're, for instance, interested in a more detailed introduction into the topic, I recommend watching the recording of the webinar at allthingsoracle.com. Furthermore, if you're interested in more background details about parallel execution in general, I recommend reading my OTN mini-series Understanding Parallel Execution. So here is a brief introduction what this tutorial is about, what problem we are trying to analyze actually. The most important point about parallel execution to understand it that is tries to speed up, make the execution of a SQL statement faster by spreading the work across several processes. If you're typically trying to make a SQL execution faster with serial execution, then you try it to find a more efficient way to process the data, which basically means arrive at the same result with less work. However, with parallel execution, this is not the case. Parallel execution comes with significant overhead, which means that in order to achieve the same than with serial execution, if you assume a comparable execution plan, then with parallel execution we actually work more due to the overhead. So with parallel execution, you do not work smarter, you do not speed up processing by working less, by working more efficient, but you actually are willing to accept to work harder due to the overhead. So parallel execution is actually a kind of brute force approach where you simply try to speed up the operation by spreading the processing across several processes by throwing more resources at the problem, in particular throwing more than one CPU at your problem. So since parallel execution tries to speed up the processing of your SQL statement by spreading it across several processes, you might have the problem that actually not all of them are working all the time and this is exactly what parallel execution skew is about so that you have significant idle time uh, at least for some of the execution time and it, as long as you do not achieve this even work distribution so that all involved processes are actually working at least most of the time uh, you simply do not achieve what might be possible with parallel execution. So this here is a graphical representation of the database time that the involved processes of, par of a parallel execution spent in the database. So each box represents a certain unit of time and the green boxes represent CPU time and the yellow boxes uh, represent active wait time, typically waiting for I.O. for example. The serial execution time of such a statement would be something like the, the sum of all these database times that, that these processes have spent and actually it would be a bit less maybe even much less than, than uh, this, the, the sum of these four uh, d database times due to the overhead of parallel execution. So something that is either similar or less than, than this would be the serial ex execution time. So this picture here is a representation of the ideal case where all four processes work for a similar amount of time. They all end around the same time and uh, it looks like that the work was evenly spread across these four processes. So that is the ideal case that we would like to see with parallel execution of a SQL statement. Where the degree of four, we would have four processes that do a similar amount of work and all complete around the same time. However, it might also look like this, where we can see that the work is not evenly spread across these four 
processes. So the overall execution time now depends on the processes that have to do the majority of work and we also have these other processes here that actually have significant idle time. So they end somewhere before the other processes, they complete their pro processing and you end up with one or just a few processes that have to do the majority of the work. This is a typical case where you won't have the um, maximum benefit that is possible from parallel execution if the work is not evenly distributed. Another variation of this data distribution problem that I'm showing you here where the work distribution is not even that is also possible with Oracle parallel execution is a picture like this so we have actually an even distribution among the workers that are actually doing something but not all of the assigned workers actually do something so you have then may maybe um, half of the workers simply idling around and again of course this will not give you the speed up that is possible with parallel execution. This here is a different pattern this, uh, this is what I call temporal skew. The difference to the previous data distribution skew pattern is that the parallel execution servers all have something to do. They all do a similar amount of work, they, all, they are all active for a similar amount of time and they all co complete around the same time, but they have significant idle time in between. And therefore this is a different pattern that uh, I call here temporal skew which is typically a side effect of the data distribution skew pattern that I've shown you in the previous slides. So what we have to do in order to analyze parallel execution is for a systematic approach we need to be able to detect whether our SQL execution is actually affected by parallel execution skew. That's the first part, the first question that we have to address do we have a problem with parallel execution skew or not? And the next part, if we happen to have a parallel execution skew problem is how do I identify which, op which operations in the execution plan are causing the problem and which are affected by the problem so that you do know what you have to do in order to address the problem on execution plan line level.